Hello. Well, today I thought I'd, uh, I'd show you a slightly different box. Um, I've never, I've never really been one for country music per se. Uh, until years ago, when I was doing a radio show, uh, another presenter he was heavily into uh, country and stuff that was just too old for me to uh, appreciate in any meaningful way and then one day i went in i uh, had to pop in and he was playing uh playing some tracks by an artist called george Strait, and i thought i like this guy's voice i like his singing so uh i checked out i checked out various albums of george Strait's and listened to some stuff that is streamed off etc Anyway, recently I came upon this box set. It's it's uh, one of those narrow ones, but uh, it is actually a box because you lift the lid off. George Strait, out of the box. And you can see like uh, a brand there for uh, Strait. I just... I just loved his music and I just loved the sound of his voice and I love his style. Anyway, I bought this one. I picked this one up uh, not very long ago on eBay and uh, it had been stored in someone's garage for some years. I think they'd, they'd moved and they'd forgotten about a load of box sets and what have you. So I bought this um i bid for this there weren't very many other people that bid for it and i got it for something like about um eight pound fifty plus a bit of postage so it's really great now let's have a look on this uh there are three discs and uh give you an idea of the contents here uh four compact discs as i say 72 tracks all tracks personally selected by George Strait. Um, surveys Strait's entire MCA recording career from 1981 to 1995. 12 hit singles, this is at the time this box came out, 31 number one singles, 19 choice album cuts, 11 rarities, including pre-MCA singles, unreleased MCA masters, celebrity duets and brand new tracks. Booklet includes biographical essay, track by track comments from Strait himself and dozens of rare photos, many from Strait's personal collection. Uh, then he says previously unreleased material this package contains three hours and 39 minutes so i think i've done pretty good by that um of music uh pre and uh, previously released music as well and uh, the original date for this the release of this box set is um 1995 I'd been aware of it being about, but I'd never seen, never seen a copy of it. Anyway, let's have a look inside. Just put that down. Pretty good looking bloke, <laughs> if you can see. Away from the reflection. Uh, there's another one here with his cowboy hat and cowboy belt belt buckle George there in a more relaxed way feeding the dog or something and uh, the guitar there. right now one problem with this box set that I bought um, was that it had been stored in a garage so uh, the seller had made it clear that there were one or two little problems with it. This is the booklet. Can you see these marks at the top here? Well, I've tried, but I can't get those marks out by wiping them gently. It's a shame, really, because it's quite a thick book and it's got some bends in it. But there are some great photos. And if I sit down with it, 
uh, if I sit down with it, it's quite interesting to read. Amazing how many albums this man's made. Uh, he was originally with um, a group called Ace, the Ace in the Hole Band. Uh, tons of photographs here. Tons of photographs. Oh, yeah, this is a fact. Now, it says here, uh, George Strait roared into the new year with this is 1987 with a vengeance on january the 6th tickets went on sale for his february the 25th concert at the houston astrodome less than 24 hours later he'd sold out all 49,246 seats it was the fastest sellout ever at the dome stadium uh, and then there's a thing here which says george Strait's two performances total attendance 112,808 seats. Well, that's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. But of course, the country world, you know, massive, massive following uh, of a lot of country stars. And the fans are very, very loyal in the main. Anyway, uh, I've listened to, I think it's three of those CDs. And I think I had a, a cracking um, buy there with that set. Also, the fact that I like it, it's still a box. It's not got the uh, booklet stapled in. I've, I've tried flattening this a little bit. And uh, as you can see, it's still got some bends. So I have to get something very heavy on that anyway. Well, why not check out his music on some streaming services and uh, see if you like it. I find his voice very relaxing and it's great for long journeys as well well that's that's uh, that's for me at the moment and uh, I've got another similar box set to show you very soon and that's also country music thanks for watching this please click a like if you've enjoyed it and please uh, also uh, click the subscribe button because that would be a big help I can then keep on uh, showing you box sets that have come into my possession my sticky mitts okay thank you for your time bye now